guys and girls welcome back got some in the mail today you uh probably saw the title of the video so let's get right to it Waiting for this sucker. <clears throat> it's the uh, it's the MFJ um, SWR meter. <clears throat> it's a MFJ eight twenty two. It uh. It's a 1.8 to 200 megahertz uh, is the frequency range, 300 watts uh, average. Uh, it's a cross needle, so it reads forward, reflected, and SWR simultaneously. Uh, selectable 30 watt and 300 watt ranges with a built-in meter light. I've been waiting for this sucker because I've been using an old uh, Radio Shack SWR meter and there's nothing really wrong with it. It's accurate. It's just uh, It just um It kind of has a smaller meter on it and I wanted something where I could read the uh, Simultaneously read uh reflect and um, SWR and also it has a light the radio shack one does not have a light um, so here's what you get in the package just a power cord uh, i believe this is only for the light 12 volt power cord for the light um, some introductions instructions MFJ 822 mobile HF VHF SWR watt meter instruction manual. Don't need that. So yeah, I wanted something that most of the time when I'm uh, in my car, it's dark early in the morning or late in the evening. Dang it. There we go. Need to sharpen that knife. There she is. Uh, I have to read some instructions, but it has a three inch, uh, three and a quarter inch display so it's much easier to read uh, it has a light in it which I believe it doesn't have a switch for a light so I'm gonna have to wire in a switch for it <laughs> but uh, it feels real solid con construction the build quality is definitely better than the Radio Shack one <clears throat> there's a bunch of different SWR meters out there a lot of them are cheap. I decided to go with the MFJ since it's basically just because it's uh, it's definitely a more uh, reputable company. You catch that there. So it reads the uh, the SWR. And the so you got your forward power, your reflect, and then your SWR down there with a the high and low. I'm guessing that's for the 30 or 300 watt range. Um, of course, uh, SO239 connectors and uh, looks legit. So 
glad I got it. I've been waiting on this sucker. And uh, I'll have to figure, I'll have to wire in some kind of switch. Because from what I understand, and I also don't see any kind of switch on here, <clears throat> that um, the light does not have a switch. Which is, they kind of dropped the ball on that one, as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, everything looks good. And uh, I'll give you some more feedback once I install it and start using it. All right, right on. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.